Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. As you can tell by the lovely little sticker here, I am back for another swatch video. These are my epic biannual fabric porn uh, feature film length <laughs> super epic swatch videos. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with Stylemaker Fabrics, they are a women-run online fabric store based in the Pacific Northwest that specializes in high-quality apparel at affordable prices. They just hit their three-year mark and I'm excited to work with them each spring and fall when they release their big new fabric collections. Um, I've done these swatch videos. I want to say this is my fifth swatch video. Maybe I've done a sixth. Um, and every time it's always so much fun and you guys love it so much. So it's just really great that, um, Michelle and I can continue to work together to show you guys all the awesome fabrics that they are bringing in every season. So as you can imagine, this is their spring collection. Um, it's a sample of all of the fabrics that they're going to be bringing in for the spring. Um, and when I say sample, um, she pulled some swatches from fabrics. They might have more colors available, um, or something similar to that. But for the most part, this is going to cover a lot of their fabrics. I want to say there's like 59 swatches here or something like that. So, um, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. I'm going to have little item numbers, uh, that I'm going to call out with each one that I, um, speak about. And if you like it, if you want to learn more about it, um, then you can jot down the item number, head to Stylemaker Fabrics website, type in the number in the search bar and the item should pop right up. I do want to say though that if the item does not show up whenever you um, type it in, that might mean that it is sold out. Um, these are limited quantity fabrics. Most of Stylemaker Fabrics um, inventory is designer pieces that are sold as dead stock. So a designer has the fabric created, they don't end up using it all for their collection or whatever. They end up selling off, you know, what is left. Um, and then companies like Michelle's, like Stylemaker Fabrics, buy that and resell it to uh, the home sewist. So it's a really cool way to get your hand on really great quality fabrics, but it is limited in quantity and stock. So just keep that in mind as you are um, going to their site to shop. Um, so I think that that is all of the housekeeping that I needed to go over. Let's get into this and take a look at the spring collection for Stylemaker Fabrics. All right, so let's see what we've got here. It is, as you can imagine, a pretty hefty stack. This is, like I said, 59 swatches. So let's get started. It looks like the first one we have here is a gingham cotton shirting, item number 12140. Um, and as you can imagine, it is tightly woven like a shirting should be. The color is really beautiful. It's showing up really well here on camera actually. Maybe a little more purpley than pink, but um, but yeah, it's a great little shirting. It doesn't have, you know, hardly any drape to it. Has hardly any st um, stretch across the grain or otherwise, and then a little bit of bias stretch. So this is going to make, you know, your really great classic shirt dress. If you're making the uh, Cali shirt and shirt dress for some my style this month, this would be a really great option for that. Archer shirt dress, a button up, um, any of those things. Really cute pink and white gingham. Again, that's one, two, one, four, zero. Next, ooh, look at this one. This is called Romantic Floral French Terry in Vanilla Rose. Um, one, two, zero, five, three is the item number on that one. And you guys, it's really sweet and adorable. I love this. You know, French Terries are one of those things that for me is like a three season um, type of fabric. Um, and this one with the sweet roses just make it just scream 
spring. And I had actually just seen something today talking about how millennial pink, which is like this little baby pink of the rose, being paired with bolder colors like burgundies and Kelly greens um, is like the new take on last year's Pantone color of the year. So last year it was all about millennial pink. You saw it everywhere. This year to elevate it, um, you pair it with these kinds of colors. So it's super cool that this is like already, we're already able to see this in fabrics that we can get at home. Um, in terms of quality, um, it's, it's soft. Um, it's mostly, I'm noticing lightweight. Um, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, I would say it's soft, but not like rayon soft, you know, it's cotton soft. Um, but yeah, super, super lightweight. I mean, look at the drape that we're able to get on that. Um, it's hard to do because the camera is above me, but um, you can kind of see there what the drape is like. Tons of stretch, um, tons of stretch uh, one way. Not, I'd say four-way stretch, but not even four-way stretch. And then the back, you have your Terry loops, and they aren't super big. Um, they aren't super small. They're just kind of average Terry. But I think um, the main takeaway from this is just how lightweight it is. So I think that that would make it perfect for spring. Again, one, two, zero, five, three on this one. Next, we have stretch sateen. You guys know I'm loving my stretch sateens lately. This one happens to be um, in something called solid pink. Um, it isn't super stretchy. I've had stretchier sateens before, but just look at that shine. Oh my gosh, it almost looks like satin, like pure satin, not um, a blend. Um, but the shine is just absolutely gorgeous. This is what it looks like on the wrong side, kind of like a slub to it and not as much shine. So you could totally use either side of this depending on what you're going for. One, two, zero, one, two, one, zero, six. Um, and I wanna see, I like to, you know, keep the ones I've already reviewed close by to see how those look together. Again, this is more of a purpley pink this is, I mean, these don't clash, but they're not that great of a match either. So I don't know that I would put them in the same outfit. Um, this is just brighter, I think, is the term that I'm looking for. So either way, hot, like a not really hot pink. It's just solid pink, pink, pink. <laughs> um, stretch sateen, one, two, one, zero, six. This one you guys might have seen before. I recognize it instantly. This is the watercolor floral stretch sateen in navy and orange. This is the one that I almost, almost, almost got for the royal wedding so along. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. She did include the one that I ended up getting. Um, I did end up getting a second one in order to make two versions. Um, but I don't know if that one's in here or not. So you'll have to Stay tuned. I'll mention it if it comes across. If it doesn't, then you'll have to watch uh, next week's Royal Wedding Sew Along video to see what the other one was. But this is a stretch sateen, and you can see this one, I don't know, just feels a little bit stretchier to me. It also feels more lightweight. But that, yeah, this one seems stiffer, and this one's more drapey. You can see this one's not falling off my hand naturally. Like, my pinky finger is not underneath that side at all. But this one, whenever I hold one side, falls off completely. So you can see one is heavier and one is more lightweight. And that might just have to do with how, I guess, either tightly woven it is or how much um, cotton is in it. I'm not sure. The, um, the fabric... Quant the, the fabric makeup of the fabric is not included in any of the information that I have, so I can't tell you like exactly how much um, stretch is woven into either one. But look how beautiful those are together. I think these look really, really great together um, because this little purpley color inside the leaf matches this. And then I want to see, could you make like a top and then a skirt um, and do the pattern mixing that is so popular. I think that goes really well together because there's not just one kind of pink. That's why this one goes really well. Anyway, super cute. Okay, so this one is one, whoa, 11871. 11871 on this sateen. And the background here is navy and that's why I loved it so much. I thought that that was like a really, you know, anything that has a navy background these days, I am, I am loving. So that's that sateen, stretch sateen there. Um, all right, next we have a mosaic rayon crepe. 
uh, Fuchsia Aqua is the color story on this one. Um, rayon Crepe is, as you can imagine, very soft, very drapey, um, but it does have a little bit of texture to it, which, you know, that's where the crepe comes in. So it does give um, a little bit of dimension, more so than Rayon Chalet, which is super, super smooth. But the colors here are fuchsia, aqua, black, and this is pretty much white in the background. So this is really cute, be really pretty. And I think the smaller prints, um, look really great on all body types, whether you're tall, short, you know, curvy, skinny, you know, whatever it is that you are. Um, I like the small prints on everyone. So it would be great for everything from a Ogden cami to a maxi dress. Um, you know, really great kind of all over print here. This one is 11729, 11729. All right, next up we have, this is a stretch sateen in solid orchid. So orchid to me is like a lavendery pink. Um, whereas our other stretch sateen, these are the same, I think, in different colors. Um, this is more of a pink and this is more of a lavendery purple. Um, and if you wanna see it next to this, that's what that looks like, also beautiful. So this one fabric so far has three friends. <laughs> three friends that can come along on the ride with this one um, sateen. So if you're looking for outfits, if you're looking to make um, you know coordinates that go together, Start with this one and then you can add any of these. I will also say that these two go together better than these two, so keep that in mind. Again, not a perfect match, but I think it's closer. So I like those two together a lot. All right, next, oh, did I give you the item number on the lavender? 12105, and again, it's called Solid Orchid Stretch Sateen. Same with that, the heavier weight sateen. Um, I think this would make a really great jacket, to be honest. Um, one of those little lightweight crop jackets, this or this. I'm sure she has other colors of these too. I don't know how many we're gonna see in this video today, but um, but yeah, I really like these for jackets. They're nice weight. Okay, um, this is called Burst Floral Textured Double Knit in Pink. So this is kind of like neon. Um, neon pink, neon turquoise, neon green set with black and white and like a little bluish gray and a little bit of like mauvey pink. Those, that's the color story going on here. It is a double knit, so it's a, you know, thicker knit than you might expect. It is textured similar to how crepe is, but it's almost like bubbled up. Um, that's more, I don't know how much of the texture is gonna show on my camera, but you can see a little bit of like the bubbles and the ridges and the lighter colors. Um, it does have um, not so much stretch that way, but a ton of stretch this way. So keep that in mind. Um, it is thicker, it is, um, I wouldn't say lightweight knit, but it's not a heavyweight either. It does still have a little bit of drape to it. Um, maybe it's easier to see the drape this way. You can see there kind of how it folds on itself, what the drape is like. Um, really beautiful circle skirt kind of drape, you know, those, that kind of how fabric drapes really well that way. Okay, um, one, two, two, five, two. One, two, two, five, two. Really fun, bright colors. Kind of reminds me of like paintball. <laughs> Okay, here's the fabric that I chose for the Royal Wedding Sew Along. This is called Striking Poppy Stretch Sateen White and Red. And if you watched that video, then you saw I chose it because of its white background and vibrant, vibrant red color. It just screamed like romance and love to me. Um, this is similar in weight to this guy here. So two lighter weight ones and then those other heavier weight ones. Um, you can see a bigger swatch of this. If you go to the video, the first one in the series for the Royal Wedding Sew Along, you can see a much larger swatch of this if you wanna know how big the flowers get or like how spaced out they are, whatever. Um, there's a much larger swatch of it there. Um, but yeah, stretch sateen, lightweight. I wanna say too that this washed up really well. It almost washed up more 
cottony. It feels more like um, a cotton than it does anything with any kind of um, synthetic stretch material woven in. Okay, so this is 11860. This is again, what was it? Like striking poppy stretch sateen in white and red. This one I actually got a preview of when we were picking our fabrics for the tour that is gonna start, I guess, tomorrow. Um, I was really close to looking into this one because I thought the tone on tone embroidery of this was just beautiful. There is also a blue one, I know for sure, kind of that chambray color. Um, I don't know if it's in this stack or not, but the blue one just jumped right out at me too. I think these are so nice and very ready to wear, very anthropology. If you're into any of that, I'm sure you can find lots of inspiration online for like tone on tone embroidery. But this is embroidered rayon crepe in coral. And again, the backdrop is rayon crepe, so it's soft, it's got that crepe texture to it, um, but really the star here is this embroidery. Now, what I don't know, it doesn't say that it's a border print, so I imagine these little groups of flowers are sprinkled kind of all around the fabric, um, not just on one side. It kind of makes you feel like that because there's nothing up here, but I imagine there's another little cluster like right here and another cluster over here. Um, but it is a little bit on the sheer side. You guys can see my fingers through that, um, which is okay. I mean, sheer flowy tops, um, you can mask those with nude undergarments, um, or you could line it with something really light as well. But this is really beautiful. Here's what the wrong side looks like, and you can see kind of all the embroidery in there. Oh, I think this is so nice, so dreamy. It is gonna be a little bit heavier just because there's such so much embroidery on this. The, this part here is very drapey. Um, but we're, the embroidery obviously makes it a little bit, you know, stiffer. Um, okay, so this one is one, two, one, five, nine. And again, I know for sure this comes in like a light blue chambray color as well. So go check that out if you think you might like the blue better. This one is so fun and so sweet. This is called Fashionista Outlines Jersey Knit Blush. And it's a jersey knit, so when I hear jersey knit, I think t-shirts, I think, you know, any lightweight type knit project that you have. Um, this one, you know, is a little bit heavier weight to me, so it would even be great for a skirt or a dress. Um, but aren't those little fashionista girls so cute with their little dogs? And look at this one with her glasses and her flowing scarf. I just think this is so sweet. And the blush color in the background, still very, very much on trend. Um, this one, did it say rayon? It doesn't say it has rayon in it, but it's very, very soft, you guys. Very, very soft. Um, here's what the back side looks like. And you can see, like, it's printed. The girls are printed on the one side, but it doesn't. I mean, it still shows through a little bit. I wouldn't use the wrong side for like a band or anything like that. Um, I wouldn't use the wrong side as the right side, I guess is what I'm saying. But, um, but still nice. I mean, it's not like damage the back or anything like that. So super cute little girls here. Love these fun little novelty print. One, two, one, three, seven on that. So this is abstract floral sateen in coral and pink, and she's saying it's sateen, and I do see the sateen quality of shine to it, but because it's not a stretch sateen like the others, it's really reading a lot like a shirting, um, like a shirting with a very faint shine to it. I don't want to scare you off and make you think that this is like satiny and like you're going to be glowing um, when you're wearing it. It's not like that at all. It's very, very subtle. Um, but I kind of love the print. I love how it has, again, our, you know, blush pinks with the bolder colors as well. It even has our fun, like, orchid. What do we think about that? Those two look okay together um, with that purple in there. How about this guy? This guy might be too, yeah, this guy's a little too pink, I think. But, um, and if you wanted to really go crazy, 
you could pair those together. It might be fun to do a shirt with like the under collar in one or the other. That could be a fun way to pair them together. But I think that these really go together really well. Um, you could do like a shirt out of this and an old jacket out of this or a dress out of this and a jacket out of this or shorts out of this and a top out of this. You know what I'm saying? Um, that could be really fun together. So the, this one is 11963 Abstract Floral Sateen in Coral, <laughs> Coral and Black. No, 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 Coral and Pink, Coral and Pink. Okay, uh, this one's sweet. This is Stripe Rib Knit Jersey Knit in Coral and Black. So Rib Knit, uh, if you're on Instagram and you follow the indie fabric stores, you can't really avoid rib knit these days. Everybody has got some rib knit in their shops, it seems. Um, and this one is really beautiful. Um, again, it doesn't say it has rayon in it, but darn, it is very, very soft, very, very lightweight, you guys. This is um, very drapey, um, but gosh, these colors are so good, so good. Um, you could make any top any knit top out of this. It would be cute with like a little mock turtleneck. Um, a mock turtleneck sleeveless would be perfect for spring. Um, this is a great little rib knit. I love this a lot. This pink and cream and black and gray is just like a classic combination that you just can't go wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, this one's really awesome. Feels super soft on the skin, super lightweight. Like I said, it's really nice. Okay. One, two, one three one on this guy love this maybe i should I'm, I'm gonna start keeping a separate pile for the ones that i fell in love with so far it's this one and this one are going in Lindsay pile <laughs> um okay next up this one is whoa it has like a stamp no no that's two okay i got you now all right that makes more sense watermelons are coming um this is box plaid rayon shirting and coral so the background is coral these colors here look like a baby blue um this is more of the coral this is purple there's a yellow and kind of like a red or an orange woven in um so that's the color story and then a very large scale box plaid what is that three four inches three inches um and it's rayon so you know it's soft you know it's a drapey um super super nice um this one is what did i say i already forgot just rayon shirting um, shirting is so versatile. I mean, you can really use it for so many different things other than just shirts and shirt dresses, but because it's woven so tightly, it really does make for great shirts. And this one, since it's so lightweight, um, you could even do something with a, uh, ruffle, um, that would drape really well, a circle skirt, you know, even a pleat would look really nice, um, because it's going to drape down so well and not be super stiff like some other shirtings can be. Yeah, this one's nice. Okay, 11964 one, on that. All right, next up we have our watermelons. Um, this is watermelon red, <laughs> that's hard to say, watermelon wedge rayon chalet in vanilla and pink. Rayon chalet, y'all, you know it's my jam. Um, do we have two of the same? Wow, okay, I keep skipping ahead, sorry. Um, I just get so excited. Okay, this is like a cream background, black seeds, and then your typical watermelon with the green rind, kind of like a orangey pink, and then like variations on baby pink in here. Rayon Chalet. Um, this would just be a really sweet, fun novelty garment. Something that you would make and people wouldn't know that you made it yourself probably because it's just so, either they would because it's so unique or they wouldn't because it's kind of like, would fit right into some ready to wear garments depending on where you shop. But um, but yeah, it's really great. The watermelon scale is really nice. Um, the placement of them, like not being too many or too little um, is really great. And you just know I love my Rayon Chalet. Super soft, super smooth, lightweight, drapey. Um, yeah, this is just as, just as good as any of the others. Um, this one is item number 11872, Watermelon Wedge Rayon Chalet Vanilla Pink. Very nice. Okay, this one is Watercolor Stripe Jersey Knit in Coral and Taupe. So, I'm wondering if 
Obviously we've got some stripes going this way. Does this start here again in the same colors? I'm not sure. Um, there'll probably be some larger swatches or a larger image of it on her website, but it's got this great coral color. This is almost like a baby muted orange. It's not maybe as yellow as you would think. Um, and then the grays and the taupes in there as well. Um, it is a jersey knit, so this is more lightweight, more of what I would expect from jersey knit versus the other one that we saw with the with the girls on it. Um, it's, this one is just heavier weight than this one. Not by much though. I mean, it's not like a heavy weight knit by any means, but this is your lightweight t-shirt jersey that you might expect um, when you see jersey knit. But I think that the stripe and like the, the ink dot blotting of it, that's pretty cool. Very nice. Great little t-shirt. Um, what I remember, one, whoop, one, one, eight, six, four on this guy. Next up, we have rayon jersey and coral. So do you guys wanna see how these go together? Obviously, um, yeah. They look really good together, I think. This one might be a little bit more pink than this one is. So just keep that in mind. Um, this is more muted. Yeah, but still pretty, still very nice. I'm sure she's got a gajillion different um, solid jerseys. Um, this one's nice, super soft, super drapey. Um, and it's rayon jersey, whereas the other ones I've shown have not had rayon in them. So you have that really soft hand, um, soft feel, soft touch, however you wanna word it. God, rayon is just, I just love rayon. Rayon is the love of my life. <laughs> one, two, one, six, seven on this guy. Very nice. I always, as I get into these videos, am reminded of whenever I was in middle school and high school, how I thought that I really, really wanted to be a QVC host. That, and I still, that job has got to be one of the most fun jobs in existence. Um, and this reminds me, this is the closest I will get to hosting QVC, so <laughs> I'm living out my dreams. Okay, this one is embroidered rayon crepe in salmon. So the other one, it, oh, I see. The other one was, what color was it? coral and this is salmon so this is like taupey pink and this is like orangey pink if that can help you but you can see the embroidery is not the same from one to the other this one has almost these flowers with the stems and the leaves and this one is just the flowers um so you have that but still rayon crepe um is the main fabric this is they're the exact same fabric just different embroidery and different colors and again i know that there's a blue one i don't know if we're going to get to it here but i know that there's a blue one so here we have um what is this one called where are we southwest roven why can i say woven i keep saying roven southwest woven stripe shirting teal and this one um it's very um, Aztec-y, very poncho-y feeling to me. And I remember seeing this again when we got previews for our tour fabrics and thinking this would make an excellent, super adorable bag or backpack. And I'm 99% sure Michelle said she ended up making a bag out of this or she was going to, I can't remember. Um, so if she has made a bag, I'll try and get a picture of it and insert it in here. But um, the stripe goes this way and it does, it's like a twill weave um, because it's got the diagonal, um, you know, it's woven diagonally, but in some places also cross-woven horizontally, like here. Uh, yeah, this is very interesting. But again, it's she's calling it a shirting, and it is a bit heavier. It is a bit stiffer. Um, so you know, keep that in mind if you're looking for a flowy um, shirting. This is not it. Um, this is more stiff, but it is still very soft. Um, just the colors like the teals and the orange and, you know, even the browns and the, 
turquoise and all these colors just remind me so much of Southwest, which I guess is why she called it Southwest Woven Stripe. Um, that makes sense to me. Um, this is 11858, and again, I think it would make super cute bag, even shorts, you guys. This one is, you know, heavy and stiff enough that it would make um, cute shorts or a, a kind of like bottom weight. Not maybe not as heavy as some bottom, like a lightweight bottom weight. Can we call it that? Um, so yeah, that would be really cool. Or even like a, um, what's that grain line st uh, strapless tank top? Oh gosh, I keep wanting to say Morris, but I know that's not it. Oh darn, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just a very simple um, woven tank. Um, this would be a really cute one. I saw somebody post on Instagram today a style arc pattern. Um, it was sleeveless tank top and had these really cool like sewn in um, pockets. So any of those like A-line um, boxy tank tops or tops, I think this would be really cute. Cali shirt, uh, the shirt version, I think this would be really cute for that. Or even the shirt dress version. Um, it might be nice to have something a little bit more heavyweight across your bum. You guys know how I am about having lightweight fabrics down there. <laughs> okay, 11858. This one's fun. I think I'm going to put this in the Lindsay pile. Okay, this one is stretch sateen solid turquoise so you can see we're building our little options here we've got our orchid our pink and now we've got our turquoise same deal for all three of these isn't that so fun seeing these like this is very miami to me these two together if you're you know taking a trip down there or you live there um these feel like you know also 1990s, maybe a little bit Lisa Frank. Who knows what I'm talking about? Um, my trapper keeper is like calling my name, seeing all of these colors together. Um, but the turquoise is really pretty. Um, turquoise is 12110. Um, we've also got an alternate to, this is when it gets hard to find the other ones, but um, we've got two color stories here of the same jersey. Um, this one is watercolor striped jersey knit in aqua and coral, and this one was watercolor, oh shoot, I can't find it, my eyes are going crossed. Striped jersey knit coral taupe and aqua coral, so you could easily get those confused. But if you're more of the blues, then you're gonna go this route. This is more of a burnt orangey color, and this is more of a pink. But um, if you're more of the blue family, cool colors, this is you. Um, and then this has more of the, the pinks and kind of dark grays. This one is item number 11865. Same exact fabric, these two. Nice. Okay, this one's fun. I'm gonna keep our stretch sateen close by. Um, this one is plaid check reversible double cloth. You ready for the big reveal? Dun dun dun, oh yeah. Look how pretty that is. So again, double cloth is taking the indie fabric world by storm, just like the uh, rib knit is. Um, people are loving combining these two into one garment. So you'd make, for example, a shirt dress, right? And then you would do the cuffs, collars, the you know button band, and maybe the pocket in the reverse of it. Um, yeah, people are just having a great time with the two of these, and I can totally see why. It's so fun to have two in one, um, and they just match so perfectly because they're made to go together. Um, this one does have a really interesting stripe of like highlighter yellow or lime green. That gives a lot of visual interest, um, but then this is more of just like a gingham. Here's the full picture of the other side. Still really beautiful. Um, but they are very, um, so if you don't know, maybe I can destroy this for the sake of showing everybody. So basically it is two woven fabrics that are stitched together. Do you see that little, did you see how that pulled out that string? Every so often they are stitched together to create one fabric. Can you guys still see. Um, this might make it seem very fragile, but it's not. I'm like actually really having to pull to separate them. Um, so that's how you're able to get like two in one. Individually, they are very lightweight, um, not so smooth. Um, 
and see-through, but then together they kind of create more of an opaque, not totally opaque, but more of an opaque um, look to them. And, you know, they are a little bit softer on the right side than they are the wrong side. So still woven, pretty stiff because they're like stitched together, hidden, like you can't see where the stitches are. Um, but it's really cool. It's really cool how they do double cloth. This one's fun. Very, very fun. Oh, and I pulled this to see what you guys thought of these two together. Although this, I mean, could be, a, this would just be a very green outfit. I'm not sure everybody wants to be just head to toe in teal. Like, I'm not sure. But if you love teal, then by all means, go for it. Um, okay, the next one, oh, did I give you the item number? Um, 12144. 12144. Okay, next up, this feeds me a jersey. Yeah, so it's a Suprema cotton jersey knit in aqua. Ooh, so this feels, wow, this is very interesting. So, okay, so it's cotton, but it feels very dense. Like, it doesn't feel that thick to me. It just feels heavier than it, sh than it looks. Does that make sense at all? Um, it's very, very soft but still very weighty, which is very interesting to me. Here's the stretch on both ways. So a little bit of stretch one way and a whole lot of stretch the other way. Um, but yeah, it's soft like cotton, but just very, it feels heavy in my hand. You know what I mean? Um, if I'm comparing it to this one, you know, these are not the same, but similar. But still, this one still feels just weightier to me. But similar weights, these two. Um, okay, so this one is one two one six eight. One two one six eight. This is really nice. Good quality. I mean, any kind of shirt or top that you wanted to make out of this would be really, really nice. Very cool. Okay. Oh, and then do you want to see these together? Again, you just be have a very blue look <laughs> but you know this would be cute as like a tank top underneath like a button-up that would be super cute together that's a great idea this one is gorgeous gosh I just love this blue gray color is stunning especially with this lime that is a lot of fun and this has got to be linen um, watercolor tropical linen shirting This is so neat. And it's like you have the outline of the leaf and then the watercolor is like outside of that. So it gives like, you know, a fun abstract vibe to it. But it's very tropical. You can see a tropical looking leaf here and these here. So it's like a modern take on all of the tropicals we've been seeing for the past like two or three years now. Um, it is printed on, you can see that. Um, and it's your typical linen, but it is soft. It does have a little bit of texture to it, but it's got a pretty nice um, hand, a really nice feel for a linen. You know what I mean? It's not too, too rough. Um, but in terms of drape, you know, it's not gonna be those drapey pants that you see everywhere. If you made linen pants out of this or a linen dress or skirt, um, I think all of those would be great options for this, but it's not gonna be that super, super lightweight one. Um, it is a little bit see-through, so keep that in mind if you wanted to lightly line it with something. But you could also get away with just nude undergarments too, especially with all these big blocks of um, color where it is pretty much not see-through, so. This one's cool. Okay, one, two, one, three, eight. Okay, next up we have, what do we have? This is summer plaid shirting in blue and lavender. Blue, okay, there's lavender there, blue there. There's also this yellow stripe. I don't know, lavender's a little misleading. <laughs> But I guess you have to call out more than one color in a plaid, right? Um, so it is a shirting. Um, it's very kind of soft. feels very cottony. Um, it doesn't say anything about what it's made of at all, but it feels like a cotton shirting to me. Um, the backside is even, well, no, they're the, they're the kind of the same. Um, not a lot of texture, but, you know, obviously 
pretty stable woven we've got here. Um, so yeah, these colors are really great. Again, with the shirting, like we've talked about all the other shirtings, um, you have your, your basic shirting option um, in terms of patterns with this. But the colors are really sweet, really sweet. Okay, one, two, one, four, five on this guy. And it is summer plaid. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the summer vibe. Summer plaid uh, shirting blue lavender. Okay, this one is a cotton shirting stripe in blue and white. So it looks like seersucker, but it's not because it's not actually printed on seersucker fabric. It's just blue and white stripes printed onto a woven. And shirting again. Yep, cotton shirting stripe, blue, white. Very, very soft. Very, very nice. This is going to make, I mean, I already can think of a pattern. I can't remember the number of it. I'm just so terrible at remembering pattern numbers. But you remember that one that, if you follow me on Instagram, the bodice kind of has all those pleats that go to one side and then the other side crosses over like this and it makes two like sweeping, it's hard to explain, but it was black and gray, I think. Um, I wish it were nearby, I'd just grab it, but um, that would be a, any pattern that has like a lot of pleating detail or anything that would play up the stripes. Remember my Colette Hazel dress um, that had the play on stripes? That would be really fun out of this. The stripes are, you know, big enough that you could intentionally match them to each other, but still small enough to where it's like a good scale, you know? Um, 11960 on this. This is really cool. And the blue color is like a light chambray, so you could pair it with all of that stuff that you have already, I'm sure. Okay, this was a close contender for the tour for me as well. I just loved these like hand-drawn like Indian type of Native American type of flowers and it almost felt more like um, botanicals than overtly in your face floral. Um, this one is called Burst Floral Rayon Twill. You guys know I love my rayon and I love my twill and when they combine rayon and twill together it just makes magic. Um, so very lightweight, very drapey. I was going to make a jumpsuit. Um, so you can take that idea if you'd like. Um, but it also works really well in, I mean, any other lightweight fabric application that you can think of. Maxi dresses, flowy tops, you know, skirts, any of that stuff. Um, even those like elasticized waist, gathered waist shorts that you're seeing everywhere, this would be really cute for that too. I just love the colors with the navy and the turquoise and then this like um, fuchsia. And then yellow and orange. I don't know. I just loved this print. I thought the print was so nice. Um, 11731 is the item number here. This might have to go in the Lindsay pile for consideration. You know, it's not like I'm buying anything that's over there. It's just being considered strongly. <laughs> okay, the anchors. Sail away anchor jersey knit. Sail away anchor jersey knit. So, ooh, this is nice. Um, it's got a lot of stretch to it, but it doesn't, you know what I love about this? Let me find another one of those jerseys, like this one. When you stretch it out, the, see how it becomes see-through? See how you can see those stripes underneath and becomes really sheer? When you stretch this one out, it doesn't really do that. You can't see those stripes. So I don't know enough about fabrication to know what the difference is, but I like that about this one. <laughs> um, so, I mean, take that for what, I don't know what pattern or what you'd even make where it would matter if it was see-through whenever you stretched it out or not. Um, but I, I do, to me, that means that denotes quality maybe. Maybe I'm just making up stuff at this point. Who knows? Um, but it's got these adorable little anchors. If you're into novelty knits for, I mean, this would even be great for babies. Like, this would be adorable baby onesies or you know whatever you guys make for your kids um it is only printed on one side although you can still see the anchors through them and it's not true white it's kind of like a vanilla e color vanilla and navy um although she says blue and white i don't know i think it's a little off white like my table is white so um one one eight six six on that one 
It's very soft, you guys. Very, very, very soft. Even softer than these. Like, way softer than these. It just feels so good. I just can't help but touch soft fabrics. Okay, this one is... Not watermelons. Hmm. Oh, Soaring Bird Stripe Rayon Chalet. So, we've got our Rayon Chalet. We've got our, you know, nautical stripe. And then you've got these birds. Now, I wonder, there's a lot of red ones here and a couple blue ones here. So, we'd have to see a bigger swatch to see how they're dispersed or if these make, like, intentional stripes. I don't know how you know, sporadic the, the bird placement is. But it's still really cool and fun and different. I feel like, I feel like if you're watching and you're into this, you're probably thinking, like you're either going to see this in something, like I'm almost envisioning palazzo pants. Is anybody else getting that vibe? I can see this being really cool in like wide leg, even elasticized waist palazzo pants. I don't know why. That's that's what I'm. That's what it's telling me. That's what I'm hearing from the soaring birds. <laughs> um, one one seven seven nine. Super light, super drapey. Rayon Chalet. I, this is this is one of those that I will stop. You know, I'll be done with the video, and it'll be days later, and this one will still be on my mind. Like I'll still remember this one. Hmm, this one's interesting. Okay, this isn't going in for consideration. All right, here's the reverse of these. Oop. So we have our navy and white, and then white and navy. Is that how it's is that how it's done? Hold on. Oh, so white and blue, and then this one is blue and white. Okay, same difference. Um, so we've been over that. So you can make too, or you can use them as contrast bands for each other or, you know, whatever. But just know that there are two of them. Yay. Blue is 11867. And a reminder, 11866 on the white background. So nice. I love those. Um, okay, watermelons again. This one is watermelon slice cotton lawn. So cotton lawn. You guys know cotton lawn by now by all of the quilting cottons that are out there. Um, it is a stiffer cotton, you know, hardly any drape. You can see it's like hardly folding over itself there. Um, a little bit sheer and not that soft. Um, but the watermelons are cute, especially on the navy background. Our other watermelons were, um, where's my watermelon wedge? Oh, here we go, on a white background. So you can see kind of the differences there. I wouldn't put these two together because this is so lightweight and drapey and this is so stiff. This is almost like, you know, paper. Um, you can hear it rustling. So yeah, cotton lawn with watermelons printed on it. 11861. Ooh, this is a classic. Okay, so this is French Terry Stripe Indigo Cream. Where's our other French Terry? Yeah, let's go back to, let's compare French Terry's for a second. Yeah, well this one's obviously, first of all, much thicker. Can you guys see the thickness? Um, and look at the difference in the loops. So this one, in my opinion, is gonna be much warmer, much cozier, and this one's much more lightweight. So this to me is like a Southern, Southern Hemisphere French Terry, and this is like Midwest, oh, sorry, Northeast, Northwest, you know, colder climate French cherry, but they're both still really nice quality and soft and, you know, everything it doesn't have rayon in it. So it's not like, you know, luxurious soft, but it is still very, very soft and cozy. And I've said this before, but I like whenever the stripes are variegated, smaller, larger, smaller, larger. I really like that. It gives a little bit extra interest, but yeah, this would be great, obviously in a hoodie or a sweatshirt or any of that stuff. Okay, next up we have, what do we have? This is Watercolor Pixel Rayon Chalet Multi. So 
little pixels done in like a watercolory type of way in rayon chalet and tons of colors so you've got your teal your navy your blue even your pinks and beiges and whites and blacks um so this would go with just about anything if you made it into a top It'd be really gorgeous with jeans even white jeans or black jeans it could it's just very versatile this could go with lots of different things and it's rayon chalet which feels like a dream cute one one eight one eight on that this one is really nice this has got to be rayon as well this one's called vine floral rayon chalet in navy um, look at the sweet butterflies i love butterflies look it almost is the exact same like design oh wait cute um yeah a lot of fun though with these white vines and then the red mixed in this is almost like a purple um so you could play that up a little bit but yeah I love a dark background too. That seems to be very popular these days. This one's really cool. Very cool. Very reminiscent of this one in a way. I don't know why. Maybe because the like floral is drawn on, but they don't really go together. But, and this is a twill and this is not, but still. Same application, maxi dress, tank top, flowy top, you know, all of that. This one is 11780. All right. So she did tell me that they brought in a ton of denim, like a ton. And I think you'll see it a lot on the blog tour the next couple weeks as well. A lot of people were going to be making some jeans from some of her um, new denim. So you'll have to stay tuned for those. Not here, but on her blog. Um, this one is stretch denim indigo i know nothing more than that i don't know the weight of it i don't know how much stretch you'll have to go to the item number to see but i can tell you this is not super stretchy not as stretchy as i've seen um but i don't doubt that she would have gotten the highest quality she could find it's reading a little bit black i wish that the lighting would show it a little bit better but it is it is dark it's just dark 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 navy like like my shirt has black let's see if the two uh, it's still looking black i swear it's not black <laughs> that's all i can tell you it's just really 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 dark blue um, so there's that one, one, two, two, four, zero, write that down, go to the listing on the website and I'm sure there'll be tons more information, um, there for this one. Same with this guy here. This is an interesting color. This is brushed stretch denim. Again, I don't know anything more than that. This one has a lot more stretch to it, like a lot, um, jegging stat, not jegging status, but I mean, it's got some stretch to it and I kind of like the brush quality of it I actually think this would make a really cute like pinafore you know I'm talking about like those little a-line dresses that are you know sleeveless usually and you wear something underneath I think that would be really really cute in this with some like buttons on the sides instead of like a zipper or anything you know what I'm saying um that would be really really adorable in this again the color is not reading there we go there we go. That's better. Here, let me see if this one. It's trying to autofocus, I promise. You can get a better idea of the color there. I see that it's not black, even though it's picking up some other really weird colors. Let it refocus. Maybe help it along. There we go. Um, anyway, so the, yeah, this is really cool. This could be, oh, Birkin flares. Are you kidding? Flares in this color, I think, are so awesome. So keep that in mind. This is one, two, one, two, four. One, two, one, two, four. That's fun to say. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm singing now. Okay, this is 
Hydrangea Rose Rayon Crepe Navy Lavender. Navy Lavender, what a great combination. It's beautiful. We don't have any hydrangeas here except for this one. You can barely see it, but you've got two different roses in pink and lavender, and then you've got this like slate gray baby blue hydrangea here. Um, this is really pretty, and it's our rayon crepe, so it's very soft, but still got texture to it, lightweight, drapey, um, super pretty. Love this one. One, two, one, five, eight. I'm gonna keep it close because I see some purples coming up. This one is, are we back to our stretch sateen? No, cotton twill in solid purple. Cotton twill. It does have some stretch to it. Um, again, this is your bot classic bottom weight for, you know, uh, pixie, pixie pants? What are they called whenever they're like cigarette pants? <laughs> um, uh, A-line skirts, uh, shorts, you know, any of those kinds of things. Even a great jacket um, if you want a purple jacket. Here's what it looks like with that guy. A little, uh, reading a little dark. That's more accurate. Um, she's calling it, did she just say purple? Yeah, she just said solid purple. I would agree. This is a pretty true purple. Um, and then we've got a gingham here. This is tiny gingham seersucker lavender. Um, not seersucker that I've ever seen. My seersuckers are usually textured, but maybe I... I could be mistaken, but I don't think this is seersucker. I think it's just gingham printed onto shirting. If I thought I were buying Seersucker and got this, I would think something went wrong. Um, because, you know, Seersucker has that, the, you know, that striped texture in it. This doesn't have that. This is just smooth. Um, so this is, or maybe I am getting ahead of myself. Oh, I'm definitely getting ahead of myself. Okay, 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 sorry. They all kind of run together after a while on my little list that I have here. This is gingham cotton shirting in purple and white. Okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> Apologies. Um, super cute, very, very tiny. Where's the other? So here's the other one with half inch gingham. This has got to be quarter inch gingham. So you can see the difference in the gingham sizes there. Um, and this is our purple with the purple. Here, let's pull them up here so you can see better. Yep, again, very grape-tastic outfit. Um, these two look like this together, if you wanted to call those out together somehow. Um, this is a double cloth, got to be, where am I? Large plaid check reversible double cloth lavender. Are you ready? I feel like the price is right. Da -da -da. So this is cool. So just like our other double cloth where they're like stitched together, this is the same, but this plaid to me is more modern than the other plaid was. Um, and then obviously this gingham is much larger. Um, if this is purple in this hand, then this is lavender, much lighter. I agree, I agree. And then here is, oh sorry, this is one, two, one, four, eight. And then here is our seersucker. And that makes a ton more sense. Definitely getting a seersucker vibe from this. I love, uh, love gingham seersucker, you guys. It is, if you've never made anything with this, A, it's great to sew with. Like, you're gonna have no problems ironing it, pressing it, stitching it. Like, it's just one of those, I mean, any beginner sewist would be able to work with this. Hey, it matches my nails. Um, and then B, it's very breathable. It's 100% cotton. Like I live in a pretty much tropical climate. It is hot and humid in the summer and a, a seersucker just feels so good on your skin even when it's really hot and you're sweating. <laughs> um, and you know, it's just really good quality. It's gonna hold up. I love seersucker. And then gingham print on top of that, I mean, come on. Um, so you could try and do something fun with all three of these since we do have a similar color story going on. I am not creative enough at the moment to call that out for you. Um, these two are a very similar color, more so than this grape one. Um, but, I mean, that looks great together. What could you do with that? A seersucker skirt and an octane cami tucked in. I mean, 
thinking of like a bottom weight here and then some kind of flowy top. That's what I'm getting. These are just the exact same colors. So you could have a lot of fun. I mean, purple is, like, I think they're calling it Royal Velvet, is the 2018 Pantone color of the year. So if you aren't already seeing it everywhere, you definitely will. And here's a way to incorporate it into your handmade wardrobe. Okay, next up we have, where are we on the list? Suprema Cotton Jersey Knit in Amethyst. So this is the same like weighty, dense cotton jersey um, that we had in this teal color. Um, you can see them both here. So this is reminiscent of, the color is very reminiscent of the shirt that I made for Sew My Style in January. A lot of you really liked that color on me. You thought it really looked really good. So this is similar, like a muted purple. She's calling it amethyst. So one, two, one, seven, zero on that. And then look at this. That is a lot of fun, or this is a lot of fun. So cool. This is a, God, is this linen? Before I speak too soon. Tropical floral linen shirting in purple and espresso. Is this not black? Let me make sure I'm looking at the right one. Yep, I'm looking at the right one. Where's our other linen? Here it is. So you can see those two linen options. Again, with the tropical floral, you can see the tropical leaves on your florals, but this background, I would be surprised if that were brown. It's looking black to me. Black to me. Um, but yeah, same, same great quality linen. Everything I said about this one applies to this one. They're the same. Um, one, two, one, three, nine on that. You can see the drape the drape, not so much sticking, but you know, whenever you wash these linens, they are going to wash up so, so soft. Last year I did a video where I pre-washed a bunch of them and then compared before and after, like I cut them in half and compared them before and after. That was a lot of fun, but yeah, on linen, you know, that it's going to, it's going to wash up so, so, so soft. All of this, you know, chemicaling stiffeners that they put on there will all go away and it'll be really dreamy. I'll probably, let, let me do that on this one and I'll put it on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, um, go over there, follow me and I will do a little before and after test. I don't want to do the whole video. I've got too much going on right now, but, um, but I'll put it on Instagram so that y'all can see there. So I'll put this over here and I'll start a little pile for the pre-wash test. Okay. So this is pretty, this is Hmm. Herringbone texture, French cherry and cream. Oh, that is super cool. Okay, I'm gonna try and get it up here and focus it. Okay, can you see the texture? Can you see the herringbones running vertically this way? And then going back down this way? That is really, really cool. So it is your solid, you know, um, hold on, refocusing again. That didn't focus. Um, solid color French terry, but with like an interesting, very subtle textured, I, I don't even want to call it a print, but it's a, it's a very, very subtle, but it is there and it's really pretty really pretty and unique. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. And then here are your loops on the back are very, very lofty. So this is one of your thicker, heavier weights, French, heavier weighted French Terry's. So there's the cream. And then here is your match. Uh, I was trying to find the other French Terry striped. Hold on. Oh, here we go. To see if that goes together well. So you've got navy and cream. This is a little bit more yellow than this is, but I mean, I don't know many people would notice. I'm just being hypercritical, hyper, hypercritical. Where is the, here's this French cherry. Um, so this is more heathered and gray. So that doesn't really go with any of these. I don't really like it with that one either. Um, okay. So 
This one is 12173, if I didn't say so already. And then here is, are these the same though? No, these are different. Yeah, the stripes are all even and the back, I mean this, this Terry on the back is like legit. I mean the, not only are they like lofty, but they're thick. They're very, very thick threads. That's interesting. One, two, one, seven, four on this. Very heavy weight, serious French cherry. I mean, that is like legit, <laughs> legit French cherry. But it does go really well with this one. And they're similar enough in weights, these two, that if you wanted to do your collars or your cuffs and all of that into this, that would look really good together. Okay, moving on. This is linen again. Tonal Linen Jacquard. So we learned a little bit about Jacquard um, in my first Royal Wedding Sew Along video and the um, qualifying feature of Jacquard is that the print is woven into the fabric. So we should be able to see the reverse of this on the back, which we do. So you can see here, technically these can be reversible. Um, where you could, you know, play on using both sides of the material. There isn't technically a right side and a wrong side. Um, or maybe there technically is, but, you know, you can fudge it a little bit. But I like this side better, the side that she says is the right side. Um, but they both could work. One, two, zero, five, two. The colors are very... I mean, this to me, I think you would find that in an Ann Taylor store in a like, um, like a fitted, like a dress with a fitted top and then like a um, pencil skirt, skirt bottom um, in a heartbeat. Or, oh, wouldn't it look lovely as like a long knee length jacket, like a lightweight spring jacket that would be perfect. I mean, now I'm getting excited about this one. Um, linen jacquard, so cool. One, two, zero, five, two. Oops. Um, okay, now this one is abstract snakeskin stretch sateen in taupe gray. Um, so we've got our stretch sateen, and this is a heavy weight stretch sateen. This is a bottom weight stretch sateen if I've ever seen one. This is almost like as heavy as some of those denims that I've just showed you. Um, but it's kind of cool how you've got your snake print almost overlaid onto these stripes but then also cut out into these geometric shapes. I don't know, that's really kind of cool and different. Um, you could make a spectacular pencil skirt out of this, like a knockout pencil skirt that would look expensive, feel expensive. I mean, but it is, yeah, it's got a lot of really great stretch, but still great recovery. Um, and, oh, look at that bias stretch. And um, a really cool, unique, but tonal print. I don't know. This is, this could be really fun. I could see a lot of you, um, really making spectacular garments out of this. Um, and this is one, two, zero, nine, nine. That's what the back looks like. You could totally use the reverse of the back for something. Contrast waistband, maybe. Um, you can't really see the print through it at all because it is so thick and stretchy. Love this one. Okay. Next up, we have sweatshirt fleece stripe gray and white. So this is sweatshirt fleece. Did I said that already? So the back is not French terry. You know, it's got fleece on it, not looped French terry. It's fleece, which is super soft. And then the front side is really nice. Um, this would be a really great little sweatshirt. I don't know that I've seen a lot of sweatshirt fleeces with print? Have I? And I just never really paid any attention to them. That's a distinct possibility. Um, yeah, this one is really nice. I love this. That would make a great sweatshirt or hoodie or, you know, zip up, whatever. One, two, one, nine, zero. Okay, this one is another, oh, you know what this is? 
This is called Stripe Texture Jersey Knit Heather Gray. This reminds me a lot of that red top that I made for the one pattern one week. You remember that video way back in November? Um, this reminds me a lot of that, but only in gray. And I loved working with that fabric. Um, it's very soft and it's got this really interesting like stripe texture to it where this stripe here is raised and then the little stripes are like recessed. Um, so you can actually feel them as you go across. Cool. Um, it's really nice and soft and comfy and cozy. So that one's cool. One, two, one, seven, two on that. Um, next up we have, oh gosh, French Terry Heather, gray and navy. I only see gray, but navy is woven in. Interesting. So you can see the loops here are gray and navy, um, even though mostly only the gray is showing every, those little Eensy teensy little dots in there. Here, let me see if I can get it to focus again. Are navy. That's really cool. So it's a heather, just like you would expect, you know, from any heather, but it's a light and a dark. Normally you see like light on light or like a tonal one. You don't usually see it with, you know, two very contrasting fabrics. So that's nice. The, um, the Terry's really nice and smooth on the back, very, very comfortable, um, very soft on the outside, you know, a little bit of stretch. This I would say is closer to a lightweight than some of the other ones that we've seen, but not as lightweight as um, this one. This one's still the most drapey of them all. Can you see the difference there? Slight, but still. Um, okay, one, two, one, seven, eight on that guy. The back is really pretty too. I don't know. I feel like you could do something really gorgeous with that back with the wrong side. Okay, this one is modal sweatshirt fleece heather gray. So we've got our fleece on the back and our knit on the outside and it is modal. Modal is a form of rayon. So this fleece is like beyond soft. This fleece is like baby's bum soft. This is like just want to pet yourself, pet the fabric soft. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's just like your, I don't want to say typical gray, nothing's typical. Um, this one's a little bit darker there. I don't know, does the, that's a little bit lighter. This is too dark. Um, I'm just trying to think of what you could pair it with cuff wise and stuff. There it is with the vanilla. Um, here's this one. Nothing really matchy matchy for that. This is the closest and it's still not quite right. Very, very close though. Very, very close. Okay, so for your super soft modal sweatshirt fleece in Heather Gray, one, two, one, nine, four on that one. This is a gray stretch denim. She's calling the color slate. I love a gray denim. Um, does have some stretch and also has like a bit of a vertical stripe if you can see that in there. Um, and I like how it's gray but also with beige tones in the background. You can see the twill that it's, you know, denim is all twill. Um, but you can see how it's woven in the back with a lot of that um, beige. So a gray with beige undertones. Really, really nice. Um, love this. One, two, one, two, eight. Again, this is one of the ones you're gonna have to go on to her website if you wanna know anything about weight or how much stretch is there. I just don't have that information with me. I just have what it is and I just talk about what I see. So I don't know anything about weight or any of that when it comes to denim. So, but it is really pretty. I can tell you that much. Okay, this one's really nice. Um, I'm thinking pussy blow blouse, like right off the bat. It's a crepe, rayon crepe dot cream and the dots are printed on not like stuck on um very 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 lightweight very drapey very flowy floaty this is gonna make just a really cute blouse um i love a cream in black I, that's so classic it is never ever ever going to go out of style never ever one two one five four is the number on that very soft rayon crepe love that this one is Block print rayon crepe. 
in cream and tan. So it's almost like a stamp, you know, like a blocked stamp. Do, 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 do. Um, and I just wanted to see, yeah, this one's a little bit more beige than cream. More beige than cream. She's calling this one tan and black and this one cream and black. And I think that that makes sense. So we wouldn't really pair them together. But this one is a bit heavier and less drapey. I mean, you can see the difference on these two. See how this one's like staying out and this one's all falling in on itself. Um, yeah, this one just is, I mean, it's still drapey and still lightweight by all standards. It's just not as lightweight and drapey as this one is. And that may be because of the rayon. Are they both rayon? Oh, no, they're both rayon. So yeah, I'm not sure. Just a different, different type of rayon crepe. That's all there is to it. Um, one, one, seven, one, seven. Um, 17 is my lucky number, so I should like this one, 1717. <laughs> um, anyways, those two are cool. Oh, here's another of our embroidered, um, crepes, right? Embroidered rayon crepe black. This one is hard to see on camera because you know black does not want to show up, but it's the same as this guy and the same as this guy. So... All three same. I swear there was a blue one. Maybe now I'm second guessing myself since there's these three here and no sign of a blue one. Um, but if you like the black tone on tone embroidery, one, two, one, six, two, there. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, this is Tropical Escape Scuba Knit Vanilla Rainbow. Look at all these vibrant colors mixed with the blacks and then, you know, set um, on this beautiful cream color, but also with this, oh gosh, this is pretty. This is pretty. I haven't used a scuba knit in so long. Scuba is a little bit like Ponty, but more spongy. I don't know how to describe scuba knit. It's like mushy, kind of. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know how to explain scuba knit if you've never touched it. It is literally the fabric that they make um, wetsuits out of. So, I mean, some of them are, obviously the wetsuit ones are much thicker and stiffer. You know, they make different weights of them. Um, and this garment weight is, is really nice. They make really beautiful circle skirts because you can imagine with like, the the drape that it has can you just already envision that um i've also seen a lot of like pleated skirts out of scuba because it does make such a beautiful like inversion there um so yeah i mean fit and flare dresses are really what i mostly see um but you can also make skirts um yeah look up scuba knit to get some inspiration i mean scuba knit has been in ready to wear fashion for a while. Um, if you've never used it at home, it's easy to sew with. It's not like your typical knit, even though it does have some stretch to it. It's not finicky like Jersey knits are or anything like that. So, um, and it doesn't unravel and it usually doesn't shrink. Like it's usually just doesn't fade. It is a, it, it stays as it came, which is, which is nice. Um, one, one, six, two, zero on this. Oh, and look at this. This is our friend to our pink one. Um, this is the stripe rib knit Jersey in gray and black. So if you're not feeling the pink, fear not, she's got you covered. Um, here's the black one, same exact material. One, two, one, three, three on that. Just as light, just as drapey, just as soft, just as sweet, just as wonderful, just not pink. So there you have those two, super fun. I don't see why you couldn't have two top, excuse me. I don't see why you couldn't have two tops, one in each. They're different enough to me. Um, okay, and then this is Stretch Sateen Solid Black. So this is the same, this is a heavier weight one. The same as our Hot Pink and which I think she's calling regular pink. And wasn't this called like orchid or something? Um, and then there was another one, but I can't find it at the moment, nor do I even remember what I'm looking for. Was it blue, a uh, gray, hmm, purple? No, I can't find it. Oh yeah, here it is, purple. Um, yeah, oh yeah, Lisa Frank, yeah, I remember now. <laughs> 
Okay, and so then here's the black in addition to that. All of these are the exact same. So if you wanted to do some color blocking or something like that, I gotta imagine she has more of these different colors of these definitely in the blues and the green family so um, check out the site for those but if you like the black one two one one five one two one one five on that and then this is speckle double sweater knit speckle double sweater knit that's not right speckle double sweater knit i don't know sweater knit this is a woven Maybe she means it's not double cloth. I don't know. It's not a knit though. Look, it's not stretching at all. This would make a, I mean, this is like, you know, you've seen this and ready to wear a thousand times probably, you know, a hash cross weave like this. Um, really great dresses, even a great lightweight jacket. You'd have to line it. Um, I mean, this you could make anything out of. It feels a little linen-y to me. Um... But I don't know, I'm definitely not getting, and I'm double checking because I don't want to make the same mistake as I did with the seersucker, <laughs> but I am not seeing it. Um, so I wonder what it'll say on the website. One, two, two, one, five on that one. It is really beautiful, it is really nice. Um, it just feels like linen to me. It's definitely not a knit. I don't know what it is, but it's not a knit. Um, so you'll have to do a little bit of research to find out that one. But it is beautiful, and I think it would make a great little ready-to-wear garment. Um, ready-to-wear inspired garment. Very professional looking. I think that you would wear this to the office and you'd look a million bucks. Okay, and then this is our stretch denim in black. So 12066 on that. You can see the back side there. Um, this is the black, and then this is, remember, the slate. And then we also had that blue, which I can't, I don't see that anymore. But I have a feeling that this blue, this is not the same type of denim, and neither is this. I'm feeling like these two are the same weight, stretch, all of that, and then this is different, and then this is different. That's what I'm getting. But again, I don't know much about any of them. So you have to go to the website to check them out. It is 12066 on this black denim. But again, the black has like a beige in the background, similar to how the slate does. I really like both of those. I think they would make great any denim garment would be great out of out of these two so believe it or not that is it we are at the end of our journey here with the 2018 spring swatch video hopefully you found some things that you liked um, hopefully I was able to help you kind of navigate shopping online I know it can be difficult because you don't really know what you're buying or what you're going to be getting but hopefully my descriptions helped you out a little bit and you've got some things you feel more confident um, in buying if you want to um, Michelle does sell swatches so if you wanted to get your own swatches um, you could definitely do that too before you went to buy them yourself but there are some really really great fabrics mixed in here um, ones that you know, would rival anything that you saw in any store that you shop in. Probably even better quality than a lot of the stores that are out there. Um, and just, yeah, really beautiful prints. I think that this is very exciting time. I love springtime. I love spring and summer fabrics. I like lighter weight, drapey fabrics. I like working with them better than I do um, like winter weight type stuff. Um, and the colors are so great and I don't know, it's just really awesome. But I am throwing them all back up here again so that you can get a reminder. But, um, but yeah, now is the time when you head over to stylemakerfabricswithans.com and again, type in the item numbers that I was reading out to you and, um, you'll be able to pull up the exact item number there and you'll see how much they cost and more information about um, like what material they're made out of if it wasn't indicated um, in this video and also like what, um, 
like I think she has like suggested like garments like things to make from them um and the denims you'll be able to see the weight of them you'll just get all the information the typical information that you get from an online fabric listing so thank you so much for watching stay tuned to my channel because my date for the tour I think oh gosh I should be I should know this I think is next Tuesday um, where I am making a garment out of none of the fabrics that are here. Um, but starting tomorrow, um, the rest of the tour starts. So there's, I guess, 14 people participating in the tour and I'm just one of them. So if you want to see some of these garments and maybe some others made up into actual garments, you'll need to follow along on the blog tour. So I have some shopping to do too, because as you know, I have a Lindsay stash in here. Um, so I am excited to get those and, and make a bit of a spring wardrobe. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this. Again, most of the information about the fabrics themselves are going to be on the fabric listing so check there first because um, it will be way more accurate than I can be but if you have general questions about linens or chalets or rib knits or whatever it is um, you can leave those in the comments um, and if you end up buying any of these fabrics let me know I want to know which ones you all really liked and which ones you purchased so leave that in the comments down below and we can like virtually shop together it will be so much fun so that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.